get ready three seconds to go start till you how often have you been told not to go that way but why does daddy go there every day because that's his job till you that's why was an underground passage tillu's father went every day for work along that passage and every day he came back from that direction what lay at the end of that forbidden route not only tillu but a great majority of the community would have liked to know tillu's father was one of the select few permitted to go that way the above conversation invariably took place between tillu and his mother whenever he insisted on following his father today however was different tillu's father was enjoying a siesta at home and tillu managed to get hold of his security card then evading his watchful mother's eye tillu made his way to the forbidden passes a metal door barred his entry but tillu had watched his father slip the magic card into a slot he did the same and the door opened noiselessly a well lit passage seemed to beckon him snatching the card which had come out of another slot in the wall tillu started his march along a gentle upward slope for the passage led from the underground habitat to the surface of the planet tillu looked forward to seeing the sun if it was daytime or the stars if it was night about which he had heard and read so much but alas that wasn't to be till you had underestimated the security arrangements invisible mechanical devices had already detected and photographed the small intruder sent his picture to the central bureau where it was thoroughly checked and before he had advanced 10th place a strong hand fell heavily on his shoulder gently but firmly he was escorted by the security staff back home to an anxious and angry mother while he was being scolded he received help from an unexpected quarter let me explain to him darling said his father who had just got up if he is properly briefed he will not do such a thing again he started to explain listen till you i work on a surface where an ordinary person cannot survive because the air is too thin to breathe and where the temperature is so low that you would freeze to death but daddy how do you manage to survive 
बिकॉज आई गो वेल इक्विप्ड इन आ स्पेशल सूट विद आ रिजर्वर ऑफ ऑक्सीजन आई कैन कीप वॉर्म एंड माई बूट्स आर स्पेशली डिजाइंड टू मेक इट ईजी फॉर मी टू वॉक ऑन दी सरफेस वट्स मोर आई हैव बीन ट्रेंड टू सर्वाइव एंड वर्क ऑन दी सरफेस देर वॉज अ टाइम वेन अवर फॉर फादर्स लिव्ड ऑन दी सरफेस क्वाइट नेचुरली इंडीड दे डिड सो फॉर मिलियंस ऑफ ईयर्स बट टाइम्स चेंज्ड द वेरी सन विच हैड प्रोवाइडेड अस विथ सस्टेनेंस टर्न्ड हॉस्टाइल इट चेंज ओनली स्लाइटली बट द चेंज वॉज सफिशेंट टू अपसेट द बैलेंस ऑफ नेचर ऑन दिस प्लेनेट फर्स्ट द बर्ड्स बिकेम एक्सटिंक्ट द एनिमल्स फॉलोड द फिश कूडंट बियर इट एनी मोर ईदर वी मैनेज टू सर्वाइव ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ अवर सुपीरियर टेक्नोलॉजी बट वी वर फोस्ड टू लिव अंडरग्राउंड अंडर आर्टिफिशियल कंडीशंस थैंक्स टू सोलर एनर्जी वी जनरेट सफिशेंट पावर टू मेक अवर लाइफ कंफर्टेबल बट दी मशीन्स विच मेक दिस पॉसिबल मस्ट ऑलवेज बी इन गुड वर्किंग कंडीशन सम ऑफ दैम आर ऑन दी सरफेस आई बिलोंग टू दी टीम हुज रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इट इज टू कीप वॉच ऑन दैम एंड टू सर्विस दैम डैडी कैन आई ज्वाइन दी टीम वैन आई ग्रो अप ऑफ कोर्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सेट हिज फॉदर बट फॉर दैट यू मस्ट बी अ गुड बॉय एंड डू एज योर पेरेंट्स टेल यू हिज मदर हैड एज यूजल द लास्ट वर्ड नेक्स्ट डे वेन टिलूज फादर वेंट टू वर्क ही फाउंड द कंट्रोल रूम फुल ऑफ एक्साइटमेंट पीपल वर क्राउडेड अराउंड द बिग टी वी स्क्रीन इट सोड अ डॉट इन एन अदरवाइज क्लियर बैकग्राउंड इट इजेंट अ स्टार फॉर इट्स चेंजिंग इट्स इट्स पोजिशन आवर कंप्यूटर हैज गिवन अ ट्रेजेक्टरी फॉर दिस थिंग इट्स हेडिंग टूवर्ड्स अस the supervisor of the last shift explained a spacecraft to lose father asked by now he was joined by his teammates on the new shift so we think but it needs watching a spacecraft where from the solar system wasn't known to have any life anywhere else except on their planet to lose father recalled the ancient days recorded in the archives at the center bureau when their ancestors had a well developed space program and had searched the solar system with manned and unmanned spacecraft and found that they were indeed alone now in the days of energy shortage and underground life they had no space program they could only watch impotently from their vantage point who were these strangers the conference room 
in the Central Bureau was so quiet that an outsider would have thought it was empty. Far from it, it was full to capacity. But the members of the Central Committee was unusually quiet. They knew that the president. was going to make a momentous announcement colleagues i will give you the report as i have it while i speak there may be a change in the situation the continued two spacecraft are approaching us one is in fact orbiting our planet while the other is still far away we guess that they are coming from our neighboring planet how should we react number 1 your views please number 1 was in charge of defense he was known for his courage and wisdom sir if we wish we can totally destroy these spacecraft with our missiles but that won't make us any wiser we do not have the capacity to render these aircraft unoperational in space but should they land we can render them ineffective any time we choose our reports says that they do not contain living beings they only have instruments number 2 your opinion please the president asked the scientist on the committee full stop